Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to wish you guys a very, very blessed and happy 2018th. I truly hope for each and every single one of you guys that you guys were able to spend it with loved ones surrounded by those that matter most and sending you guys uh, positive energy for this 2018th. Wishing you guys happiness, joy, abundance, success, and health above all. So let's get into this reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of January 2018. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Oh. Okay. All right. So you have one card that popped out already. Let's find what the message is for Sagittarius. The January 2018. All right, so your first card, Six of Wands. All right. You have the Six of Wands, the High Priestess, the King of Cups, the Empress. Wow. Oh, Sagittarius, you guys have a lot of major arcanas. Wow. Okay. Okay, general energies is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? The Knight of Pentacles is um, grounded energy. I feel that for the month of January going into, um, going into the progression of January 2018, you guys are going to be more grounded in regards to what you're wanting uh, to bring to you for this 2018. Uh, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with an earth sign. Earth sign would be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. I feel that this is a person you're going to be consulting with or someone that you're going to be venting to in regards to issues that you may be going through or may have been going through. Uh, this is a very practical energy. This is an energy that is, again, like I said, very grounded. For, for So for some of you guys, it could represent that there is a need for grounding for uh, this month of January. But moving forward, you do have the Six of Wands. Six of Wands is feeling victorious, uh, feeling triumph. In regards to the reason I was going to go into it, um, you do have the Justice card right under the Six of Wands. So for some of you guys that have court cases or have been waiting on some type of judgment or some type of uh some type of outcome that you're waiting in regards to anything that has to do with legalities, whether it's divorce, uh, whether it's uh, child custody, whether it's anything to do with finances. I feel that for the first week of January, uh, going into the second week, you guys are going to hear back from them or hear positive feedback. Uh, there is definitely a positive attribute to this legal issue. So um, for a lot of you guys uh, going into the second week of January, there's going to be a finale, uh, some type of ending, some type of um uh, Again, like I said, answer in regards to anything that has to do with legalities and court cases. I do see, uh, I do see for some of you guys income coming in, unexpected income. So this could be having to do with that in regards to any case that may be pending in regards to um, uh, some type of uh, court, uh, some type of uh, legal um, issue that may be happening. Um, there is definitely uh, unexpected income coming in. So know and understand that it will rule in your favor. Now you do have next to the Six of Wands, the High Priestess. I feel that the High Priestess is here to tell you um, to really listen to your intuition. Uh, try to see not more what people tell you or what they pre present themselves to be, but be guided by your intuition. Sagittarius are usually known for this. Um, you guys could be very sensitive. And a lot of the times, uh, sensitivity is connected to your intuition. So again, try the best you can to listen to your intuition in regards to anything that has to do uh, with finances or that has to do in regards to love. You do have the King of Cups here. The King of Cups could be a water sign that you're dealing with, uh, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and the Empress card next to it. Um, for some of you guys, this could be your partner, um, Maybe for some of you guys that are married or in a long-term committed relationship, for some of you guys, it could be that there is uh, difficulties or some type of separation uh, from the person that you're married or that you were living with. Um, 
and again I do see right at the center judgment is here so again like I said if you guys are having issues in regards to anything that has to do with legalities there's a judgment a final judgment that's going to be made and it's going to be ruled in your favor for those of you guys that have been separated for quite a while from a person perhaps a water sign um, that you were living with or married to uh, i definitely do see them coming back around the second week of the uh, second week of january but i feel that um the reason why they're coming back is because perhaps they didn't get the the what's the word they didn't get what they expected when they decided to pull away or when they decided to walk away from the relationship uh the justice card is basically serving them um a plate of uh, what they deserve which is uh karma uh for some of them um or for some of you guys you guys may be dealing with an example if you um in the past um separated or ended a relationship because a person walked out of your life uh, the justice card is talking about you know karma being balanced uh anything that has to do with the situation where you felt that you were that you were treated unjustly um it's going to be coming about in the second week of january going into the third week of january but i feel that with the judgment card it's kind of like they're either coming to try to uh test the waters to see if you're still receptive to that know and understand that a lot of the times when people from the past come back into our lives doesn't necessarily mean that it's a sign from spirit it is just um more than anything has to do with their understanding of what they went through uh or what they did to you and them coming out is not so much about uh, an opportunity to actually move forward but this has more to do with the fact of things didn't pan out the way they expected and now they're coming back into your life to test the waters to see if you're able to be receptive to their energy um the temperance is here to tell you uh understand and know that you're going through a healing process and through that healing process sometimes we have to deal with things from the past in order to be able to release it and move forward okay so if you do find yourself in the in the month of January uh, dealing with exes coming back, I would not place bets on that. Um, take it for what it is. If they feel that something was left unsaid, or if you feel that you left that they left without you really expressing um, whatever it is that you felt you needed to express, they will be coming back around, and that opportunity will be given to you. But again, like I said, it is very necessary for you to take it as a healing uh, process and not take it as an opportunity or get your hopes up in regards to people from the past. Okay. Now you do, like I said, I do see a lot of major arcanas in this reading. So know and understand that in this in this present at the present time you are dealing with a lot that has to do with the universe a lot of situations that are out of your control i don't see this as a reading of everyday type of energy this is more of the planetary alignments and also having to do with lessons that are needed for you to learn the high priestess is there to tell you that sometimes uh, the truth we've been expecting or wanting a person to tell us why they left or why they walked out or why they moved away from um our our relationship has more to do with you've already known or you knew uh the reason why they were pulling away you just didn't listen to your intuition or didn't pay attention to that or the warning signs nonetheless uh if you were mistreated or if you were left out in the cold know and understand that spirit is coming through letting you know that by the second week of january there's a lot of people people from your past that are going to be coming back again uh but more so to see it in a reflective way to understand the lesson that was taught and to be able to release that and move forward um again like i said there's a lot of major arcanas you have the high priestess um the high priestess the empress the judgment card the justice card uh temperance so i feel that for a lot of you guys the the mint uh sorry the <clears throat> the month of January is going to be a lot to do with karma and karmatic cycles. Do understand and remember Saturn is going into Capricorn, so it is the karma planet. So a lot of things that were left undone in the past, it could even be relationships that ended 10 years ago. It could be that they reach out to you or they have this need uh, to communicate with you and to tell you things that were left unsaid. Again, know and understand that um, sometimes it is necessary for us to look back to, towards the past 
nonetheless, it's not to be able to move forward with that past, but to let it finally rest at ease or at peace. Um, and again, like I said, karma, if any, any situation, whether it's in regards to relationships or whether it's in regards to uh, monetary, in regards to the people you surround yourself with at work and you work with um, co-workers, etc. If you felt that you've been mistreated or there's anything to do here with uh, being taken advantage, know and understand that spirit is letting you know, you will be able to be, you're going to be put in a position where you're going to know uh, that karma is real. <laughs> so it could be that um, perhaps a person did you wrong, a co-worker spoke bad about you, and within the month of January, you hear um, that they get caught talking or backstabbing someone else at work or something like that. Again, like I said, everything that goes up must come down. Uh, so again, it is necessary for us to also be watchful and mindful about what we do and how we express things. Um not do it in a negative way in a negative aspect towards someone else especially if it is affecting other people now you do have the temperance card here so again balance is very important you have two uh, major arcanas that are talking about balance balance being needed so for some of you guys it could be the balance of the scales being balanced uh, once again karma in your favor or it could represent if you've been doing or if it was you the one that did someone else wrong. It's the the um, the scales being balanced um, and having to deal with karmatic type of energy, uh, whether it's good or whether it's bad. Um, I do see that by the third week of January, you have the Queen of Pentacles here. So I feel that for a lot of you guys, you may be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And next to the Queen of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles. So I do see stability coming through for you, Sagittarius. Again, if you've been waiting on something to do with legalities, inheritance, um, a divorce, uh, settlements, anything like that, you're definitely going to go into the third week of January uh, getting positive feedback and actually getting the monetary or the physical material um, aspect of being ruled in your favor. So again, uh, checks coming in, money coming in. Um, and again, if you are or you have been going through difficulties in regards to finances, in the third week of January, you start to see an increase in income. Uh, so it could be either through you or it could be through, um, again, like I said, anything to do with legalities. Now, you do have the Queen of Cups here and the Queen of Pentacles is next to the Queen of Cups. So I feel that for some of you guys, um, you've been confiding or going to someone um, water sign could be a water sign as well scorpio cancer pisces uh communicating with them or letting them know in regards to perhaps your relationships for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship um and this is an energy that is definitely there and it's definitely present um in regards to being able to give you feedback or give you insight into how they perceive your situation to the best of your interest i don't feel that it's negative or catty type of energy nonetheless it is a general energy usually when i see more than two uh queens in a reading it usually represents rumors and stuff like that but there's only two uh two cards and next to it is the justice card so if if you were in a relationship and your partner stepped out of the relationship and went with someone else like they stepped out of the relationship cheated on you and went towards someone else know and understand that again the balancing of the scales is going to be happening in january so you're going to be able to see it unfold in a negative way for them if again like i said it was them who did you wrong and uh left you for a third party type of energy so again you're gonna see all of that movement start to happen in january uh going all the way to february now you do have the high priestess and the knight uh, sorry and the king of cups so uh, this speaks to me very very strongly about intuition try the best you can to pay very close attention to your dreams um i feel that spirit is trying to communicate something or guide you through something um whether you're going through difficulties again like i said whether it's having to do with finances or having to do with love and romance uh, pay close attention to those dreams because i feel that they're trying to warn you or they're trying to guide you in the um in the right direction 
um, in regards to whatever challenges you are currently going through. Now, I do see progression and I do see advancement with the Six of Wands and the Empress at the corner. It's definitely, again, like I said, balancing, being able to balance your finances. Try the best you can for the month of January not to overspend Sagittarius, even if money does come in, even if a check uh, you've been expecting in regards to uh, anything to do with settlements. Uh, if it comes in, try the best you can to be smart about it and balance it. Don't go overspending because uh, you get unexpected money. Um, again, I feel that this may be a pattern in regards to finances. This may be a pattern that's happened in the past because the judgment card is here and there is a need of having balance. There is a need of stability in your life in regards to either love or finances. So again, like I said, um, Another thing that I am getting with the Nine of Pentacles, for those of you guys that have been single for quite a while, uh, and this person from the past does actually reach out or you bump into them, um, know and understand that it is necessary because you're still healing through this process. Um, perhaps you didn't learn what the lesson was and you grew so attached to that person in the sense of it's been 10 years and you haven't been with the person, but yet uh, you still ha you're still holding on very tightly to the perception of what you thought that relationship was so there is a need for you to understand or see things um, in a different perspective with more balance and understand and know that the healing process is already has already happened and you will not be able to achieve or attain that healing until you're able to release yourself from when no longer serves you or from things that were taught to us in the past, okay? There's a need for you to take action and make movement. So again, like I said, I do see uh, yourself feeling very confident and seeing yourself very successful in the sense of, again, anything to do with finances. Um, for some of you guys, it could even be... Uh, getting notori notoriety for some of you guys in your workplace, um, in the company you work for, uh, people coming to you are really taking your advice. Um, and I feel this projective energy, like it's other people that are either wanting to get advice from you or they're wanting to go to you in regards to the work or, or whatever company you work for, trying to get feedback from you. So I do feel that there is some type of notoriety attached to this. Um, and again, like I said, I do see advancement and growth with the Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. That's talking about uh, financial stability and abundance coming through. But again, try the best you can to be able to balance that and not overspend. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Light and love to you all. And we will see each other in the middle of the month.